Sunshine, blue skies, gum trees, it must be summer in Australia and time for another GarageBand Quick Jam. Okay, today we're going to look at some of our synthesizer keyboard instruments. So to get to there, we go to keyboard and then we tap and we can select any of these classic bass, leads, pads or other instruments. We're going to go with Polarize today. Now before we get started, I strongly suggest watching my original keyboard video that will give you the basics, the links up the top or down below. So one of the options we didn't have on the piano was up the top here. We can now choose the pitch mode as well as glissando and scroll, which will make our sound like this. And you'll notice our nice little blue dot there, we can actually move that up and down the key to create a modulation effect. And if your device has 3D touch, you can also press harder to create a similar effect. And that 3D touch will do something different with different instruments. Up to the top right of the screen and to our settings, you'll notice that we have four different knobs on here that we can adjust and these vary from each different instrument. And adjusting these can give us a very different sound. Now two dials that you'll see on a lot of instruments are attack and release. The attack at the lowest level means as soon as we hit a key, we hear the sound. And if we turn attack up, we touch and hold a key, it'll take a long time to kick in. And our release is when the note will be released. So at its lowest setting, if we tap, or at a higher setting, we get some sustain. Now one thing I didn't show in the piano video was the chord strips autoplay function. So we have our chord strips here where we can play our treble and our bass. But if we go into our settings, we can also turn autoplay on for our chord strips. And now if we press on a letter, GarageBand plays us a riff. We can also do the trick touching with one, two or three fingers to get a different sound up here in the treble. We can go with just bass. And we can combine a different treble and bass note. And that's it for another GarageBand Quick Jam. If you've got comments, questions or suggestions, you know where to leave them. Now I better get inside before I get sunburned.